Ladies and gentlemen, I would like to congratulate the young founders of the Greek Economic Forum for this excellent initiative. It is indeed time to look ahead, to look beyond the economic and social difficulties that have marked these past years towards a brighter and also more prosperous future. Allow me to place this discussion in a wider, more global perspective, because Greece's story is part of a bigger picture. The global recession has clearly shown all of us that it's time to change. Our planet's population is expected to rise to more than 9 billion by the middle of this century. By 2030, we will share our planet with an additional 3 billion middle class consumers. The estimates are that we will need three times more resources, 140 billion tons annually by 2050. Yet, Already today, 60% of the ecosystems underpinning these resources are degraded or are used unsustainably. It is clear that our future will be very much shaped by how well we manage these existing limited resources. Most, if not all, of the sectors of the economy in Europe strongly depend on our already fragile natural resources, such as water, energy, raw materials, even more since some of them are often imported. Prices of key resources are already rising and becoming more volatile, and competition for resources among nations and economic sectors is increasing. Change is inevitable. The European Union is probably the most resource import dependent region in the world. We have no other choice but to learn to use these resources more efficiently. This means that we need to rethink the way our economies function, the way we produce and consume. We need to build a basis for a different growth, one that will allow us to continue to grow while respecting the limits of our planet. So, as you can see, Greece is not alone in its quest. It is not the only country that needs to rethink its economic architecture. In the European Union, we have made the efficient use of natural resources a central pillar of our growth strategy. The essence is to move towards a circular economic model that works pretty much in the same way as nature does, where nothing is wasted and everything is used and reused over and over again. This will reduce Europe's dependency on imported primary raw materials, it will reduce our dependency on increasingly expensive imported energy, and it will reduce our greenhouse gas emissions. How will it translate into economic growth? Concretely, this means boosting the efficiency of production processes, adopting innovative solutions to save resources, developing new business models and offering more sustainable products and services. It means creating opportunities for new technologies, investments and jobs. Estimates suggest that reducing the total material requirements of the European Union economy by 24% could boost gross domestic product by 3.3% while creating 2.8 million jobs. The green economy is creating jobs faster than many other sectors. For example, employment in the eco-industries, such as recycling, water and energy efficiency, has been growing over recent years by around 3% per annum, and this despite the recession. I know that the green economy is not the answer to all present and future challenges, but it can be an important part of the solution. In May this year, I will present a package of proposals that aim at ensuring that the foundations of a green economy are in place. The main focus of the package will be the review of the European Union waste legislation, with the objective of shifting the focus from managing waste as it is today to preventing waste. The package will also include initiatives on sustainable buildings, sustainable food and green entrepreneurship. There will be as well a focus on job creation in the green economy, which will bring together the environment and employment agendas to support member states in putting in place the necessary conditions for green jobs to flourish. My objective is to create a level playing field that will enable Europe to improve its competitiveness and lead the global transformation towards sustainability. Greece has a role to play in this trans transition. You can definitely benefit from it. Ladies and gentlemen, dear friends, Greece needs a clear agenda for growth and job creation. But most importantly, Greece needs your determination, your energy and trust in a brighter future. This forum 
is an excellent sign that you are heading into the right direction. I wish you plenty of success and I look forward to hearing of your future initiatives. And I would, of course, like to thank you for your attention.